Hi folks, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today we're doing a video walk around of a 2010 Audi A6. It's the Le Mans edition. So it's an S line with a few extras on it, a Le Mans is. It's the uh, sort of top of the line uh, A6 that they did. Uh, this one's the 2 litre TDI. It's the manual gearbox. So not only has it got the high spec, but it's actually very cheap to run. So I previously sold this car. Um, we've taken it back in part exchange because the gentleman who owned it needed a seven seater. Obviously this is a five seat car. Uh, we've, to be honest with you, I've just gone round the car now. It looks as good as it did when I sold it to him some time ago. Uh, the car's recently had a new timing belt and it's also recently had a new clutch and dual mass flywheel fitted on it and it's got full service history. So in very good shape. Um, these particular cars are a car that I would highly recommend. I mean, they're very economical. The two liter TDI engine is bulletproof on them as long as you keep the cam belt changed. The two main jobs on the car that you would expect to do, this car's done just over 140,000 miles, are things like timing belt and clutch dual mass flywheel. The big money's just been spent on this car. So it's perfect for someone now who just wants a good, solid, reliable, big car that's not going to cost them the if to run or to buy. Still looks very impressive though. Certainly doesn't look like a cheap car, does it? The, the wheels on this particular car are the Le Mans spec. They have got mild grazing to the outer edges on them, which you would expect on a car that's done this sort of mileage. Uh, but they certainly still do look quite an impressive design, I think. That's probably the worst of the wheels there. The near side front always catches the curbs on, on any car, especially when you've got a big rim like this. Um, I think this one is actually on 19 inch rims. But obviously I'm being critical. I mean, you can see this slight curbing there, but overall when you look at the car, the wheels do look quite good still on it. And it's certainly got a certain presence about it, this car because it's a, it's a big imposing vehicle. It's got the LED day running lights that come along here that are so familiar on these bigger Audis. It just does look the part the whole vehicle does. I like the color of this one as well. It's not your standard silver. It's sort of a, a silvery gray metallic. Certainly it does suit the, this particular vehicle. And we've got the slightly darker tint there to the rear three quarters, which again, does suit this particular car, I think. So without further ado, let's have a look inside it. Just to show you quickly on the outside, some things that you might not notice on the pictures is that it's actually got some nice details like this chrome strip above the door handles here, echoed in the chrome by here as well. Nice heavy tint to those rear rear sort of three quarter glasses that um does add to the sort of look of the car and at night these actually light up underneath these door handles so it, it has quite a presence this car does and it's got a nice few little extra touches that audi put on those right so let's have a look inside it's a mix of sporty and luxury it's an s-line spec so you've got the body hugging seats with all the extra supports the lateral supports on them and you've got a sporty free spoke wheel but okay, yeah. there's acres of space absolutely acres of space let's just turn that down a bit and turn pull that back a bit so you can see lovely dashboard audi quality is second to none these older A6s, they were built to last. In fact, probably a little bit better than the ones that have come out since. Um, it's got a multifunction display. This has got what is called the extended MMI navigation system on it. I can press a button by here. It'll bring up um, a menu by here. And if I press the bottom right button on this, which is map, there we are. I've got a nice full color map which is sort of a 3D effect. You can see I've even got the mountains there uh, around me showing up on the map. I can zoom it in and out using my uh, my switch by here. It's a nice, easy system to use. It's quite intuitive. It's got Bluetooth phone built in as well. It's got everything on it that you could really want. All operated from this rather neat uh, display and keypad here. The key functions, which are on the left here, nice and easy to operate. That brings up then a sub menu on here and you can select 
what you want from these switches and using this turny dial, which is a lot better, I think, than using the actual, a lot of the new cars now have got the touchscreen stuff and I'm not a massive fan of touchscreens. I'd rather just have that as a display and have switches here, which I can operate much easier. I've also got dual climate control and I've got heated seats for the both passenger and the driver. Uh, when I'm inside the car here, I've got cruise control, which you can just about see probably under my wheel. And um, I've also got this rather sexy free spoke steering wheel with the S-Line embossed bit by here. It's also embossed seats as well with S-Line on them, so they don't let you forget that you are in the top of the line model here. Um, to drive, it's beautiful. It's very smooth. Yes, it's the four-cylinder one, but to be honest with you, they're about 170 horsepower and it's more than you need, especially with the manual box. And the fuel economy is unbelievably good. It's doing about 50 to the gallon, this car. If I turn the key here, we can start her up. The clutch and the flywheel are the first thing I would normally listen to on this car because if you buy one and it's clattering when you start it like that, it means you're about to spend a thousand pound on a new clutch and flywheel. But that's just been done on this car, so you haven't got that to worry about. When I'm looking at the display here, I've got obviously a digital speedo in the middle, as well as my uh, conventional dials, which, which look great. You can see the mileage on this one's 147,000 miles. A little bit over average for the year, but not out the way, and nothing for an Audi diesel. I mean, they're, they're built to do three, 400,000 miles, these cars. I've now got my aircon blowing ice cold and I've got my uh, my seats turned up nice and warm. My screen has gone into night mode because I think I've got my lights on for some bizarre reason, but uh, if, I, if I turn that off, it'll go back into day mode for me. So there we are. They are automatic lights as you would expect on a car this class. They're the automatic wipers as well. View out to the road is excellent view behind me is pretty good but further aided by the fact that if I put it in reverse I've got reverse parking sensors which uh, which will guide me into any spaces overall very nice interior the lever feels good on it the switch gear feels solid on it and there's no real wear to any of these switches or buttons on the car I like that and it's something that you won't find in other brands of this ilk not when they've done this sort of mileage Audi do tend to make some of the best quality interiors you will find anywhere on the planet. So do not be frightened of buying a well-maintained, higher mileage Audi A6. Let's have another quick look outside. I'll leave it running. You can see those LED lights come up on it then. So, oh, just to show you, I did leave this in here. I have got a stack of service history for this car and I won't go through it now because it has got customers details that I'm not allowed to show you and stuff on it but there are bills here for both the clutch and the timing belt having been done in the last 12 months and I'll put those on the main listing of the car that is worth its weight in gold in itself so as you can see hopefully it's quite a bright day today but you have got LED front running lights on the car which are running and fully functional and it's just a, a very nice looking thing so surely a bargain for someone if it's something that you're looking for give me a call my number is 07932 873 646 our ODA 6 is going to be available for national delivery and we're happy to take your old car in part exchange Please give me a call for further details on 07 932 873 646. And of course, give us a like. Please uh, share, subscribe, comment. And um, there should be links on the screen to do all that now. Also, we've got our website link on there as well if you want to have a look at our other stock. My number one more time is 07 932 873 646 thanks very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video please take care